looks of crimson and gray against the purple and gold. Individually very nice looks, but if you try to bring them together, well, it just clashes. Maybe that's the way it should be. This year's game has so much riding on it that both coaches are trying to downplay the rivalry aspect. Sure, we don't really believe them when they say it's just another game, but there is logic behind the coach speak. Just last year, Leach's team went into Husky Stadium and got routed by the dogs after turning the ball over seven times. Yeah, we've clearly beaten teams that are considerably better than Washington this year, but the thing about it is we go in here wide-eyed and act like somehow it's special and make more out of it than it is. So is this just another game on the schedule? No matter how hard you try to make that a reality, former players cannot deny things are different this week. It's huge. Uh, it really is. It, it's, it's a fun thing. Oh, it's huge. It's a, a great rivalry, and it's grown into even a better one this year because all the marbles are at stake. Sometimes all you have to do is watch the excitement of winning to see the significance of a rivalry game. Teams celebrating their second win of the season as if they're headed to the Rose Bowl. There's a trophy, coaches' bonuses, and fans' bragging rights. That doesn't come after you beat Arizona State. And it's a feeling of utter distaste that will never fully go away. And all you do is you, you really just hate the other side. You hate anybody that wears purple, anybody that talks about it. I don't really have friends that are Huskies. <laughs> I have acquaintances that are Huskies. This game has come with snow, fights, and legends. Names like Six Killer, The Throwing Samoan, and The Ghost. We've seen blowouts, upsets, and walk-offs, tears of joy, and tears of sorrow. Dreams achieved and careers ended. Families divided, friendships put on hold, and roses awarded. So try as they might, the coaches will never convince us that the history of this game does not matter Friday. We all know better. This is the Apple Cup. And this year, for the first time ever, the winner heads to the Pac-12 championship game.